Have you heard the story of 12 Chinese zodiac animals? You might already know some or all of them. But do you really know them? What if I told you that there's more to the story than just the classic 12? Deep in the ancient legends of China, there's the story of the Chinese zodiac. Once upon a time, the Jade Emperor, or the ruler of heaven, decided to create a way to measure time. He wanted to establish a system that would help people keep track of the years. So he decided to host a grand race. All the animals were invited to participate in the race. As the race began, the animals raced through rivers, over mountains, and across valleys. The rat, being small and clever, asked the mighty ox for a ride. The ox agreed. And just as they reached the finish line, the rat leaped off the ox's back and claimed first place. The ox secured second. The tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig followed in the order they arrived. Each was given a year in the zodiac cycle. The cat, however, missed the race because the rat forgot to wake it up. This is said to be the reason why there is no year of the cat in the Chinese zodiac. The custom of pairing an animal with a year in a 12-year cycle can be traced back to at least 2,000 years. Numerous legends and folktales surrounding the 12 zodiac animals. People born in a particular year are believed to share characteristics with the animal of that year. And people will celebrate their zodiac year with special significance. But hold on, the mystery doesn't end there. Across different corners of Asia, the zodiac animals transform in unique ways. For example, the Burmese zodiac only has eight zodiac signs based on the eight directions. The eight animals are tiger, lion, elephant with tusks, dragon, rat, elephant with no tusks, guinea pigs, garuda, which is a mythical bird. Burmese New Year, or Tingyan, is also called the water festival because water throwing and spraying are the main activities. In Japan, the zodiac narrative takes a whimsical turn. The wild boar replaces the pig, and the sheep replaces the goat. A new ancient, Tanuki, emerges. Now, you might be asking, what in the world is a Tanuki? It's not just any creature. It's a raccoon dog with enchanting powers. The story goes that 12 zodiac animals had a poetry competition, and Tanuki wanted to take part, but wasn't allowed because he wasn't a zodiac animal. So he leads a group of other animals to attack the 12. Since 1873, the Japanese have celebrated the beginning of a new year on January 1st of the Gregorian calendar. As Japan bids farewell to a year, people perform the zodiac handover ceremony. What if it's the year of dragon? Well, in 2024, the seahorse is taken to represent the dragon. In Thailand, where the lunar calendar differs, the animals of the Chinese zodiac find adaptation. However, the Chinese dragon transforms into a Buddhist naga. Naga is a half-human, half-serpent being in the Thai tradition. Based on the Thai lunar calendar, their New Year or Songkran New Year Festival is now celebrated every April 13th to 15th. In Tibetan astrology, the rooster is replaced by a bird. Tibetan New Year, also known as Losar, 
is celebrated with vibrant traditions and cultural festivities. While Vietnam shares most zodiac signs with China, they honor the cat instead of the rabbit. Why the cat? Some believe cats are helpful at hunting pests. Others avoid observing mouse and rabbit as two similar animals. There's even a theory that the Chinese word mao for rabbit sounds like meow, meaning cat. You may get a pretty good picture here. Each unique twist makes the legend of zodiac animals a celebration deeply ingrained in cultural history. We hope you enjoy this cultural journey. Do you know anyone that really shares the same traits with their zodiac animal? What do you notice? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.